Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday, although it feels like Saturday for some reason. Uh, 76, sunny, slight breeze. Had a little bit more rain last night. Uh, the humidity is starting to increase. Okay, got some stuff done this morning already. Two o'clock, egg haul. We are at 46. And I hear some cackling back there, so more on the way. Uh, yeah, with baby chicks hatching, it was uh, incubator clean out day once again. Yep, uh, typically once a week, sometimes twice a week. I'm going through this and I'll show you my, yeah, let's take a look at my wall of incubators. All right, here's my wall of incubators. And I've got two more of these styrofoam ones in the bathroom. So uh, let's see, this, this would be the only one of these that I would recommend. The Hovabater model 1602M N. Um, yeah, they are pretty good. It uh, maintains the temperature and the humidity very well. It does not have a digital uh, temperature or humidity gauge, so you have to do that manually. They do have a, a more expensive models that comes with that. I think the GQF Genesis is the next model up that would have all that stuff but um yeah so i've got two more of those in the bathroom and then i got two of them out here let's see those two top ones they hold 24 eggs each with the automatic turner going in them uh the one on the right is the only one i've got going right now and i've got some moran uh moran eggs and i got three of number two's eggs in there so hoping for the best. The one on the left there kind of fritzes out on me once in a while. So I, I can't really recommend those. And this is the GQF, I can recommend those. Now these are, the uh, same company makes these that makes the ones on the top. And uh, you can't trust the, uh, this one's off right now. You cannot trust the temperature reading on these. So you're gonna have to do that manually. And, um, but they, uh, they do pretty well for hatching. Uh, I don't incubate in there the first 18 days. So what I do is I'll put 40 eggs in here and like I have two white and true blue families, Larry's family and Daryl's family. Well, I can put, you know, 20 eggs of each into this one incubator for the first 18 days. And then on lockdown, I can, uh, you know, put 20 in there and 20 in there. And that way I can keep them separate at hatching so that I know who is who. So these little ones do come in handy, uh, especially for me doing smaller batches right now. Uh, but yeah, and then this one, that was a gift not that long ago. I've used it to incubate for the first 18 days a couple times, and then I would just hatch them in one of the smaller ones, because those are uh, easier to clean. But yeah, so that is my wall of incubators. Plus I've got two in the bathroom. And I've got a big old, uh, uh, almost 300 egg incubator, brand new, that's at the new place that I'm getting anxious to start using once I can finally move down there. just a quick project I kind of just tore them half apart and they were only half built to begin with so yeah what does that mean a quarter of <laughs> they will be easier to uh, put into the trailer and take up less space and I can stack them and and I didn't have to take them all the way apart so I didn't take them all the way apart and hopefully we can get this get them in the trailer here in the next couple days and get another load of outside stuff to take with me I like this uh, bed frame here which uh, yeah there were some climbing roses attached to it before and there might be some again oh and Fifi Fifi not found a nice little napping spot is that a good napping spot a little bit in the shade you can still see everything going on all right Fifi okay yeah that project is done Daryl, guess what? You are our chicken of the day. 
he is what I presume is a white splash uh, could be paint I yeah there's no telling with these white and true blues uh, but he's very beautiful and let's see he is two and a half years old he is Larry's brother <laughs> So I got them in the same batch from Murray McMurray Hatchery, uh, what, October of 2018. And I've just now started using him for breeding. He was my, I kept three roosters out of that batch, and he was my number two. So uh, he is in here with Larry's uh, children. So, yep, and that's probably a Larry and Carol Burnett or Private Benjamin's daughter, and... So yeah, um, that way I know that I know that Daryl here is not the he's their uncle possibly, but he's definitely not their brother. So he is smaller. He's probably the smallest of the three white and true blues that I kept. And uh, which uh, there's pros and cons for that. Some people like smaller birds. Some people like the like the bigger ones. Usually for egg production, uh, you know, uh, bigger birds is. Uh, not always best for like you know leghorns leghorns are little small birds but they're great for egg production so uh yeah roosters do not lay eggs so it's hard to pick uh pick one out if you are going for egg production but i uh, uh not he is smaller and number two is smaller and she is in here in this flock this is flock number two so I wanted to pick out a smaller rooster for her because you know some of those Morans I got are big boys and the Welsomers are too. So I thought maybe a smaller, smaller rooster might be ideal for her and for uh, 2.1, her daughter. Uh, what else do we know, Daryl? He's uh, he's a sweet boy. Um, never charged me or run up behind me or anything like that he's pretty light on the ladies hardly any uh back feathers missing on these girls and uh well the key to that is to have plenty of plenty of girls in there then you don't have to worry about the roosters being too hard on them uh, i do have another rooster in here with him that he's training and that's a younger guy that i got from murray mcmurray hatchery uh last summer last fall but so yeah your replacement is in training sorry dude um he is producing lots and lots of white and true blues and we'll show his uh protege again <laughs> yes he is producing lots and lots of white and true blues for me and that is a good thing he is passing on the white to quite a few of them uh but i've also gotten a few <laughs> Also gotten a blue, few blues like her, so I wonder what those two, a white with a blue, half of them would be white, half would be blue. I don't know. All right, you're the rooster of the day, Daryl. Enjoy your time in the limelight. Where you been all day, Bob? Huh? Was it too hot for you out here or something? Well, it's a nice time of the night right now. Six thirty p.m. and I've got 58 eggs in here so uh, 58 is my record this is the third time I've gotten 58 
But I saw one of number two's kids in a nesting box a little bit ago. Yep, that's one of her younger uh, kids. And uh, so let's go back there and see if, if I've got my new record. If she laid an egg or if she was just teasing me being in the box. Looks like I'm gonna be lucky and they are all, they're all up in bed for the night too. Yeah. Okay. Do we have Do we have egg number 59 in here? There it is, the record breaking egg. Egg number 59. Well done, flock. I got my record 59th egg and you guys are all in bed early. It's not even seven o'clock, so thank you. And now I don't have to make another trip to the, this coop, which is the furthest away from the house. All right, egg 59 and egg number 60. And it's a black copper Moran's egg. Yeah, good job, girls. Good job. We broke our record and we finally hit 60 eggs. Now go to bed. A new record, 60 eggs today. Uh, five dozen exactly five dozen eggs and I don't hatch them all but I've got neighbors that'll be happy I'm I'm gonna have they keep it up I'm gonna have to meet some more neighbors and and yeah but this is all good some really cool Moran's eggs in there some nice olive eggers and uh, yeah yeah I am happy grumpy you made it home by dark you got any stories for me today or are you just uh, just a boring day? You got nothing to say? All right, we can do that too. Um, I think Bob's in here checking out the yeah. All right, so yeah, we got a trailer full loaded up. Those raised beds that I took uh, halfway apart, and then all of the cinder blocks, and so that was that was some work. And that big old thing is heavy. That's like a step. So, um, and still a little bit of room in the back uh, to put a few more things. We'll probably go down Saturday with this. And uh, Bob's, Bob looks like he's getting in trouble down there. Bob, are you going to be able to get back out? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, thanks for the helper. Uh, got this done. I'm calling that a pretty productive day. Uh, this morning I got the incubators cleaned out and scrubbed down, ready to go for my next hatch. Uh, not until the 15th, so I've got a week until I've got another hatch, which is something for me these days. You saw all those incubators. Uh, I am, out of the eggs that came today, I am going to fill one of those incubators and start them tonight, so that'll be on the agenda after this video. Uh, what else did we get done today? Got those raised beds halfway taken apart and then I had a helper from the neighborhood come and help me load it up so that'll be ready to go for Saturday. Uh, I'll probably throw a few more things on the back there but it's pretty heavy with all those center blocks and there's no reason to overdo it. There's absolutely no reason to overdo it. I'm not in a, not in a big hurry. Um, what else can I tell you about today? Record, record 60 eggs. And I haven't checked flock number one yet. I doubt there'll be another one in there, but a record 60 eggs. Just think if I could hatch 60 eggs a day at five bucks a piece. Yeah, man, that's the dream. Uh, and it's not, yeah, yeah, it's not that far fetched of a dream. I do not have the incubators to do that, and, and the incubators to do that, yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm just getting started with my little local area here in Arkansas, and maybe someday we'll go nationwide. We'll hear about, yeah, we'll see about that dream. But it's a good start. You gotta start somewhere. Uh, okay, I'll stop yapping. It's been, it seems like a Saturday all day long to me, so tomorrow's not gonna seem like Friday, but I don't know. I'm going to uh, take care of all the waterers uh, tonight so that I can get them all fed in the morning uh, rather quickly and then I got some place to 
go tomorrow and all right that's all for this video thanks for watching thanks for everything take her easy everybody